Presenting a paper titled Early Response to Violence, the Director General of Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution, Dr. Bakut Iswa Bakut, who was represented by Zainab Anyadike, said the intervention project are designed as part of the efforts of the Institute at engaging the people at the grassroots level on need to foster peace and development. Violence is a concept that is known globally to destabilize individuals families and communities and hamper development and peace. It is a complex force and phenomenon that is at the bedrock of disorder and chaos. A consultant and representative of CPOC Associate Resources, Mr. Robert Obeta, noted that without peace, there cannot be development in any part of the world and urged participants to take advantage of the program so as to ensure peace in their communities. There were goodwill messages from various stakeholders, while some participants shared their personal experiences. A drama presentation by some youths added color to the event. The facilitator and member representing Ego Ikwebaoka Federal Constituency, Mr. Jude Ise Idene, commented on the success of the event, while some participants said they gained so much from the workshop. A lot of people will get some ideas about how life should be and how they should you know, resolve their conflict without going into any kind of violence or physical altercation with anybody. That's why I decided to do something like this, to enlighten the communities in Ego and Ipobaoka Federal Constituency. We have been experiencing a house of prep in Ego and Ipobaoka, but for Issa Idehen, it was fantastic. I give kudos to him. This peace and conflict uh, initiative he brought to Ego and Ipobaoka, it was very fantastic. Program good. Tell us to maintain peace, tolerance, to be everywhere. Now the teachers today. I will try to settle case. If I see people fighting, I will start, try to stop them. If I cannot stop them, I will inform people that we are able to do it. Certificates of attendance were issued to all participants. Pius Nsogo reporting.